It's Howard the Duck's 33rd anniversary. Woo! Yeah, no, no, seriously, it is. Do you know what the first theatrical Marvel film is? Marvel has had numerous films over the years, many of which introduce fairly obscure characters to mainstream audiences, but their first is quite possibly the most obscure and unconventional hero they could have ever chosen for a film debut. There's no way around the simple fact. In the beginning, there was... August 1st, 1986, the date the world got its first cinematic view of not only Howard the Duck, but Marvel. It was also the date where most people chose just to ignore the film. Howard the Duck was a failure on multiple levels. Critics hated it, audiences of course didn't see it, and famed Star Wars creator George Lucas had to deal with his first major blunder. It was, without a doubt, one rotten egg of a film. Dreadful outcome indeed. And I'm not just talking about your film, Howard, although I guess I could be. In fact, even the legacy of Howard the Duck was tarnished because of the film. You see, despite how odd it might sound, the comics are great. Weird, but great. And they were popular enough to warrant this movie. Yeah, surprising, right? Due to the film failing, no one really bothered with Howard, resulting in years of being labeled as the star of one of the worst films ever made. What may surprise most of you, though, is that Howard the Duck is honestly not that bad. It's not good, but the hate is really too much. To the point that I'd say a lot of the hate probably doesn't even come from people who've even seen the movie. It's probably just people who want to echo things that they've already heard from other people. Honestly, as someone who's actually seen Howard the Duck, if you think this is the worst movie you've ever seen, you honestly have to see more movies. But why talk about Howard the Duck now? I mean, aside from the fact that it's his anniversary, well, specifically the movie anniversary, I love Howard the Duck. Yeah, are, are you still here? Really? Oh, okay, I guess I'll continue on. So yeah, my favorite comic book character is Howard the Duck. Not just Marvel, but in general. I love Howard the Duck as a character, and there's no shame in that. I can just imagine the expression on her face. And to be honest, that probably would have been my reaction 10 years ago. Even I can't believe that Howard is my favorite comic book character these days. I'm not going to act like this character is perfect. And yeah, the movie is not a misunderstood piece of art. But Howard is more entertaining than he has any right to be in a world full of super soldiers, sorcerers, teen heroes, gods, and so much more. Simply put, if I were to sum up what I like so much about Howard, is that he adds an odd yet human element to Marvel that makes him my favorite character which makes him kind of perfect in my eyes. So let's talk a bit about Howard's place in Marvel lore. I'm not going to detail his history, that's probably best suited to another video, but to understand Howard, we must know at least some basic information, like how he's a duck from a different universe, pulled into the Marvel Universe, or like his first appearance being in a Man-Thing comic way back in 1973, which eventually got him his own comic series in 1976, and Howard's made quite a number of appearances since then, most famously as a supporting character for She-Hulk. There's quite a lot of history to explore, like at one point, apparently Steve Gerber, creator of Howard the Duck, had a strain with Marvel Comics, which would lead to Howard being in a different universe, while the Howard we know in Marvel is a clone for some reason? Yeah, it, it, it's complicated. Uh, again, another video. Another video for that. That being said, in recent years, Howard has regained some popularity after his brief appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy. Gross. Which debuted exactly 28 years after he was in theaters. Wow. But what exactly got me into the character? Honestly, it was his original run, which I began reading a couple of years ago. Surprisingly, I loved it. Obviously, I knew about the character beforehand. I'd see the movie trash everywhere. But curiosity got the best of me, and I decided to read the comic, and yeah, it's a pretty terrific one. I mean, there was always something that kind of fascinated me about Howard Duck, even before I read the comics. I mean, it's a comic book character that is more in line with the Looney Tunes, yet he's in the Marvel Universe. That's pretty crazy, and I always wanted to know, why that? Why in the Marvel Universe? And to be honest, my only assumption is because it created some fun stories. I mean, there's probably more to it than that, but I mean, that's all I got out of it. It's a bunch of fun stories that are sometimes very existential. I haven't read everything the character's in, but I'm not gonna lie, I've hunted down quite a bit with the character in it. As for the movie, it's incredibly decent. Howard the Duck is no masterpiece. That's not an argument anyone's making. It's incredibly flawed, but it's pretty fun when it can be. And you know, some of it does make me laugh. Also, despite much hype, Howard isn't portrayed awfully in this movie. I mean, the Fantastic Four and Superman had it way worse in terms of adaptations. Honestly, if I had to boil it down to one little thing, the biggest issue the film has is really in its third act. It just lags so much. I don't know, is the movie awful because people are seeing things I'm not? Or is it just because it's an easy target since it bombed so badly? I'll never know for sure, but to be honest, there's worse films, whether they're comic adaptations or not.
Honestly, I'd love to see the movie get a re-evaluation. Mostly because I wonder if people will react the same way they did back then if they actually saw it today. At the very least, the movie being constantly considered one of the worst movies ever made led to a pretty good post credit scene with Guardians of the Galaxy. What do you let it lick you like that for? Gross. That's something. Howard the Duck is my favorite character. I'm probably a loser for admitting that, but you know what? I have no shame in that. Howard is my favorite comic book character because I can relate to him. Also, I can laugh at him, but mostly I can relate to him. If that makes me a loser, who cares? Because you know what? As far as I'm concerned, the greatest thing about Howard the Duck is that he's probably the most human character in Marvel history. He's a hero not because he wants to be, but because he looks weird and being weird makes you a hero in these comics. So yeah, there's just a lot of relatability to that. Sure, he's strange, kind of an idiot, loves to throw tantrums all the time but you know what who doesn't sometimes if nothing else tower the duck is my favorite comic book character because who the hell are you to tell me he can't be Walk. see you next time